Mario was running throughout the Mushroom Kingdom as he would jump into a wrong warp pipe that warped him into the Hasbin universe. As he looked around, everything was red. As he said, let's -a go! As he started to run around, people would say, is that a human? And they would start to run away. Eventually, word would spread as Lucifer himself would appear. So how did a human like you get here? As Mario looked, it was Lucifer. Sir would say, how did a human get here? As he summoned fire, suddenly Mario said, I can do that too. As then he got a fire flower and began to shoot fireballs at Lucifer. As it hit him, it didn't really do any damage, but he said, huh, you're funny. Hey, why don't you tell me more about yourself? As Mario would walk with Lucifer, they would begin to talk about each other. As he said, Who, what are you? I'm a plumber from my Brooklyn. Brooklyn, huh? Interesting. As they continued to talk, Lucifer learned a bit about Mario. As then he said, all right, all right, Mario. How about you stay here? I think you can protect my daughter. She is a princess after all. Oh yeah, let's -a go. Lucifer would then look at Mario though and say, you need a disguise. As suddenly he'll give him a disguise as it made Mario look like Metal Mario. And Mario would said, didn't the Bowser Jr. wear this? As Lucifer says, um, I don't know who that is. Mario would say, oh, that's all right. Sir. As then, Lucifer would then take Mario to the hotel. As Mario walked into the hotel, Charlie would say, who are you? Your dad does send to me to protect the princess. Charlie would even say, protect me? What can you even do? Mario would then point at Alistair and say, Alistair, oh, fight me with all you got. Hit me with your strongest attack. Alistair would say, are you serious? Huh? All right. It's your afterlife, or is it after afterlife? Suddenly, Alistair would start to grow into a demonic form as he attacked Mario. But Mario would summon uh, Invincibility Star and take all of the attacks as then he punched Alistair, sent him flying, defeating him, saying, That is my ability. I have some great power-ups, and I can jump. Charlie would then say, That's really cool. Angel says, So you have superpowers and you can jump? Jumping comes in handy more than you think. Angel would then say, oh, all right. Mario would stay there. And well, Mario was an interesting guy. He was kind of annoying sometimes. He just jumped around and ran around a lot. He had a lot of interesting power-ups or wasn't much to say about him. He was kind of like nifty in the fact that he was a wild card. Everyone just thought he was weird, but he was extremely powerful. Everyone knew that. One day though, Angel would come back hurt as mario would say what to happen angel angel would say shut up you don't care i do uh, care i am here to protect the hotel that includes you tell me what to happen angel would say stop with that annoying voice that is how i talk G angel would then say it doesn't matter you see as then mario look at that at place it was valentino's place did valentino hurt you i can teach him a lesson Angel would say, no, don't get involved. You'll just make things worse. You're just a weird, fat plumber. As Angel would walk back into the hotel, Mario would sit down and sigh. Those words were so mean to him. Why would someone be mean to him like that when he was trying to help him? He didn't understand. He never had that problem like that before. As Mario would sit down and think, he decided it doesn't matter if Angel's nice to him or not. Because he's a hero, and heroes save the day. As Mario would walk into Valentino's place. As Val would look at Mario, Val would say, So, uh, what are you doing here? I mean, I accept usually everyone, but, you know, a fat guy with a mustache isn't really that popular. As you would think. Huh. At least your skin's metal. I guess that would get some people interested. Mario would say, I came here to fight you. <laughs> Val would just start to laugh. He couldn't control it as he said, You're a funny little guy. Maybe you can, as suddenly, Mario would use a fire flower and shoot fireballs at him. As this would hurt Val, he would get mad and start to fight Mario. But Mario would just simply jump on his head. Val would then say, Ow, did you just jump me? Literally, you just jumped on me. Who, who does that? Seriously, who the F does that? As Mario says, I'm a gonna stomp on you. A stompity stompity stomp. As Mario would jump on Val over and over again, as Val would go, ow, 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 as he would fall down, defeated. I uh, did it. As Mario would then go back to the hotel, Mario would then look at Angel. The job is uh, done. 
Angel would say, what did you do? As then he would turn on the news and see Val was destroyed. He was shocked. How? You you know I'm strong. I took a hit from Alistair. You're welcome. As then Mario would walk to his room, suddenly Alistair would walk in. Hello. Alistair would look at Mario and say, so how about a deal? Mario would say, a deal. Yeah. I can help you go back to your universe and see the princess. All you have to do is leave the hotel alone. You embarrass me, and I don't like that. Mario would say, the deal, hmm, it's a no. Alistair would say, what? I promise to protect the princess from Adam. I protect princesses, it is my thing. And I would not let someone like you get rid of that. Alistair would say, why can't you just talk normal? As Alistair would say, are you serious right now? Why are you like this? You talk like a babbling idiot. Like some stupid YouTuber trying to do an impersonation of an Italian accent. That's probably offensive. Why? Why do you talk like that? And why won't you leave? Mario would say, because I want to protect the princess. It is that simple. Now go before I jump on you. Alistair would sigh as he would walk out, angered and annoyed. As... Mario would be walking out one day. Suddenly, Rosie would notice him. As Rosie would say, Mario, people are hearing rumors that you took down Val. You should be careful. Mario would say, I'll keep that in mind. You want to come to my town? I hear you like princesses. I'm a mayor. That's kind of a princess. Mario would say, close enough. As Mario would go to see Rosie, Rosie would show him the cuisine, which he didn't really like. But Mario would stay there anyway. As she would talk, she would say, you know, you made Al quite mad, but he's usually a sweetheart. Something's got him riled up. I don't know what it is. He's such a gentleman. Do you know why you two hate each other? Because he is a big baby, Mario would say as Rosie would laugh and say, is that so? Anyway, I brought you here because, well, I wanted to say that there's kind of an opportunity here for you. Adam's coming with his exorcist army, and everyone heard you took down Val. It's just rumors, so the Vs aren't going to act yet, but there's great things for you here. Mario would then say, what are you saying? I do not understand. What are you suggesting? Rosie would then say, follow me, as she showed her to everyone in her town. I want you to lead an army, but you need to get them riled up. You need to get them to join you. As then Mario would say, Yahoo! Everyone. Since Mario took down Val, and there's rumors that he stood up against Al and survived, his cred was pretty high, so he'd easily be able to get the town on board, even though he's a bit weird and funky. With the town on board, Mario would then be ready to fight back against Adam, to lead everyone against him. He was excited for this battle. He didn't really know how to do things, though, but he was going to be ready to do it. As the day before the battle, Mario would be sitting down as Husk would talk to him. You're one heck of a weird guy, you know that? I mean, you talk super strange, and you're always happy. Why is that? Because I'm excited to battle uh, and protect the princess. Uh, as Husk would say, right. Well, what do you want to drink? Root de beer. You want to drink root beer? Why? Because I like it. As Husk would give Mario root beer. That's a reference to the old arcade game, by the way. As Mario would drink it, he would enjoy it. But as he did, eventually someone would appear. As the day came, Adam would arrive. As Adam himself came down, he began to look around. As he saw a place to take over. As he saw a place to exterminate these filthy sinners. As he arrived, his army surrounded the place. As the battle would start suddenly, Mario would dress up like a flying raccoon and fly right towards him and hit him right in the face as adam said what the heck is that i am a mario time to be defeated adam would say why are you talking like that it's just uh, you know what time to end this as adam would fly right towards mario he began to swing but mario would dodge it every time would jump on his head ow why did you jump on my head that hurts mario would say do it defeat ya as he would jump on his head again and again and again and again and again and again. No matter how hard Alistair swung, no matter how fast he flew, he would always get his head jumped on. As eventually, Adam would give up and leave. As Mario won and saved the day. As they all praised Mario as the hero. As then, Mario would wake up.
He had a weird dream after eating a spicy meatball. That's Mario for you. But as he walked away, he heard laughter in Lucifer's voice. Was it a dream or did he really go to the universe? And that's going to leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I really enjoyed making it. Hope you enjoyed watching it. I love the Mario movie. One of my favorite movies that came out this year. Honestly, or was it last year? I can't remember. I think it was last year, actually. But I, when we were watching it, everyone in the theater clapped when it ended. It was such a great movie. I love the Mario movie. And I'm excited for the Minecraft movie. I think they're doing pulling a Sonic. I think they made it look terrible on purpose. So when they fix it, more everyone will be like they listen to the fans. Because I think that Sonic stuff was staged. Because they made Sonic look bad on purpose so they can fix it and show it to everyone. That, that's what I believe anyway. You know, I could be wrong. You never know with Hollywood and with movies and stuff like that. But yeah. Also, sorry for that super annoying Italian Mario voice. That might be offensive, but you know. I kind of made that anyway because well why not it's a me a mario it's a me to ball yeah it's just it's just fun to talk like that i probably lost like 50 subscribers doing that because that was a bit annoying after a while i'm not gonna lie but yeah i decided to have the characters be mad at that too because hopefully if they're annoyed too it's like less annoying for you you're annoyed but it's a joke so it's good please don't unsubscribe <laughs> anyway Please subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. Also, if you don't think anyone loves you, don't forget that I love you, and I'm glad you're watching my channel. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for being here. It means the world to me. And if you made it this far, please type in, We Hungry Turtles. It's just something funny I do that, you know, that will confuse people being like, Hey, why are people typing I like turtles? But yeah, love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Peace out.